What's up, Leo gang? Welcome back to There's That Tarot. I'm back to do your end of November love reading. So this is you guys' first love reading with There's That Tarot. If these messages resonate with you, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Hit the bell to be notified when I'm doing future readings. Um, check your moon, Venus, and rising signs. If I don't hit all of the places in this reading, if this reading doesn't quite resonate with you, something may resonate with you in your moon rising or Venus signs. So check out those other videos and check out your booze video because this is about love. So um, remember the roles can be reversed. You know, I could be talking, I could be picking up on your energy. I could be picking up on the person that you're dealing with, their energy. If you would like a personal reading, please um, check the description box. All of my information is there. And uh, there's that, Leo. Let's jump in. So at the bottom of my main deck, we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. It is water energy. The Eight of Cups talks about walking away from a situation that's no longer serving you. But in the reverse, it could talk about, as, as far as love is concerned, it could talk about staying in a relationship out of fear, staying in a bad relationship out of fear of loss or being alone. Plain and simple. Staying in a situation that is no longer serving your highest good. Could be you, could be uh, the other person, your person, right? At the bottom of my other deck, we have the Two of Pentacles. Now, this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I call this the juggler, okay? In terms of love, this could be, let's see, an upright. No, he was in the upright, okay. In terms of love, this could be like a stalemate, being stuck in the middle, some sort of denial. Um, it could also deal with somebody who's juggling multiple people, choosing in between lovers or choosing between love and family. Like you could be juggling a lot of responsibilities right now, right? But let's read a little bit. If you're single, you may find it difficult to move ahead in your love life. The two of swords, love meaning suggests being stuck in between two different decisions. Are you attempting to choose between two lovers? Or love and other aspects of your life during this time. It seems that your options are equally appealing and instead of being an active participant in your life choices, you may be attempting to avoid choosing altogether. Be careful that the world doesn't make a choice for you because y'all know how God is. <laughs> If you don't walk away, he going to take it away. So, it's a stalemate of sorts. It's not a time to ignore problems, you know. But it's, it's about speaking carefully to find a compromise between whatever it is that you're juggling, Leo. So, let's jump into the reading. What messages do Leo need for their highest good? In love for the rest of November 2020. What do they need to know? What's coming in love? What's going? Who did it and why? All right, something want to come out. All right. What's going on in love for the Leos all around the world? What messages do they need to know for their highest good for the rest of November 2020 in love? Okay. Okay. All right. Let's get two more cards, Leo. What do you guys need to know for your highest good in regards to love? Okay, let's see. Anything else flip over? Mm, no. All right. So, Leo. What the hell is going on, Leo? We got the Ace of Cups in the reverse. What are you feeling sad about? The Ace of Cups talks about pain, some sort of, like some sort of sadness when it comes to love, when it comes to the emotions, right? Let's take a read. Let's read it. So, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. This talks about emotional loss, 
some sort of emptiness that you may feel or some sort of block creativity because the cups also deal with creativity not only love but love nonetheless this could be something someone hmm Maybe someone that you've known for a long time, someone that's very familiar to you, someone from your past, or someone who's currently a part of your life but was also a part of your past. Somebody that you really love. Somebody that you feel home with them, you feel comfortable with them, but what's the sadness about? What is the emotional loss about? What's making you feel empty about this? Because the Six of Cups also speaks on you know, wanting to go home. Maybe you live far away from home. Maybe, maybe you just want to go back home. Home doesn't always have to be like a building or a house. It can also be a feeling. You know, some people make you feel at home. But there's some sadness here. Perhaps because there's a, there was a lack of commitment at some point in the relationship because the king oh Lord, this is not a king this is not a king this is more like a pawn this is the page of cups but it's in the reverse so the page of pentacles in the reverse talks about a lack of commitment in some area in one area or the next pentacles normally deal with your earthly matters your material you know but in love the page of pentacles in the reverse? <sighs> wait, 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 wait. That's not the pentacles. That's not the pentacles. I'm sorry, y'all. It's a lack of, it's like laziness when it comes to love. A lack of commitment, you know? Maybe this person, maybe they've, maybe they, like, it gives me inexperience. You know what I mean? This person could be younger than you because pages normally represent a young, a younger energy. Or it could just be immature. They could be older than you and they're just not very mature. So there's that. Right? But in the reverse. Mm. Wait, that's the upright. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because, you know, I like to give really detailed descriptions so you guys can fit your storylines wherever you want to put them. Right, but there could be like monotonous. You know, this this relationship could could have become monotonous. You know what I mean? There could be a lack of contentment. Uh, there could be boredom in the relationship. You know, um, like I said, lack of commitment and dedication when it comes to matters of the heart. Instead of focusing on a long term companionship, you may find yourself easily distracted by a new person, you or the person that you're dealing with. There's nothing wrong with this, but make sure you set clear expectations and don't lead on potential lovers, right? Leo, is this you or is this the person that you're dealing with? Other times this part, this card can point towards an, ambival an ambivalence to dating, right? If you're in a relationship, the page can suggest a relationship that has become stagnant. There could be frustration stemming from this boredom. And you're a fire sign, Leo. I'm an Aries. We fire sign. We don't like to be bored. We got to put some spice up in it. Keep us interested. You know what I mean? It's not a game. We understand the, the mundane part of a relationship. We understand that. You know? But what's, what's all work and no play? You know, boring. So you and your partner will need to work to remain together and remember why you fell in love in the first place, right? That could be all that is, right? You could, it could have been a loss of commitment in the every day, every day. Not you just needing to implement a little more spice in your life, right? Because whatever the situation is, it's making you feel unhappy at home. Because this is the this is the marriage card. This is the love. This is like, you can see the couple here. They just got married. It just jumped over the broom. You know, people throwing rice at them and everything. They they walking out of the church, right? This is Aries energy as well. But in the reverse, it talks about being unhappy. Hence, this sadness, this pain with the Ace of Cups in the reverse and heartbreak. Who broke your heart, Leo? Was it a Scorpio? With the tower. The tower is Scorpio energy. Now, we are still in Scorpio season for like two more minutes. Okay. 
We about to be out of it, out of it in a minute, so just hold, hold your horses, Leo. But the tower represents the big shakeup, something that was unexpected that happened in the relationship, something that was shocking, <laughs> something that mm, I almost said uh, I almost dropped the f bomb on y'all, something that messed with the the foundation of the relationship. Right? You can see these people, they're jumping out of a burning building. You know, they're jumping out before they get burnt. Okay? Whatever it was, it caused a lot of heartbreak. It caused some unhappiness in the home. It was due to a lack of commitment on somebody's part. Somebody that made you so happy at one point, And now they're making you sad. If they, if we, re we can read this backwards and forwards and sideways, honey. Somebody done done something right somebody was juggling that's probably what that energy was about but we're gonna see we're gonna clarify these cards and see what the hell is going on leo so why is the ace of cups here in the reverse for leo why is the ace of cups here in the reverse i'm we dealing with scorpio this is scorpio this is death There was something that ended that caused a lot of pain. The Scorpio, the, the death card is, all, is Scorpio energy and it's all about, I'm sorry, my, I got this new thing and it's making my camera shake. I just can't touch the table. Anyway, it's an ending, it's a shakeup. It's like a period in your relationship that feels dormant. You know what I mean? It's like something happened and now I feel different about you. Okay, but I don't know. It doesn't necessarily say, it speaks of an ending that made you sad. It doesn't necessarily have to be the ending of the relationship. It could be the ending of a part of the relationship. Death also talks about, the death card also speaks about um, transformation. You know, so one part, you know, the relationship could be transforming into something new. Hopefully it's better. Sometimes it's not. But something shook up the foundation. Again, you got Scorpio three times in this read. Y'all done with Scorpio. Okay. Look, Scorpio. Same card. Same position. Nope. This is an upright. This is this is in the reverse, right? So this talks about the foundation. Whatever there's a certain part of the foundation of your relationship that has crumbled. Do you want to rebuild it? The hangman says you're thinking about it. You had to take a step back. The hangman talks about he's hanging in midair by his own doing. He took a step back because you see his hands, they're not tied behind his back. He just got them behind his back. Only one of his legs is tied. So this is, this is you taking a step back. You're not moving. You're not making a decision right now. You're just thinking about it. You're like, okay, let me look at this thing from a different perspective. Whatever this thing that happened, this tower, this death, this Scorpio that happened. Because sometimes a Scorpio can happen to you. <laughs> Scorpio is an entire experience. Okay? It's not, they're not people. No. I love Scorpios. Shout out to the Scorpio gang. We love y'all. However, you're very intense. And your your energy alone, their energy alone is intense, but a relationship with them can be a whole other thing, right? It can be good, it can be bad, it can be death. Rebirth, transformation, new beginnings, endings. That's the Scorpio. Either way, you had to take a step back. You had to, you know, the hangman talks about suspension. So like getting suspended from school. And when you get suspended from school, you got time to think about what you did wrong or what it's like you have to you, you have to suspend a situation in order to, and, and step back from it in order to recalculate how to move forward. How do we rebuild this foundation after this big thing happened? What was the big thing? Whatever it was, it wounded you. This is fire sign. 
Aries Leo Sagittarius. This is the wounded warrior. He done been through it. He's been there. He's done that. It's damaged. But he's still holding on, though. Right? The wounded warrior. He's still holding on. But somebody wasn't putting in the work. With the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Could be also dealing with the Earth sign, but we got Scorpio all over this reading, so. Where's the lie? The Eight of Pentacles talks about not being romantic enough. You know, not putting in the work lazy, boring, complacent, that Earth sign energy. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hate on the Earth signs at all. Because we need all four elements to make it the world go round. But... When we talk about boredom and complacency, a lot of times it has something to do with earth energy, pinnacles, right? Then we got the page of swords. I mean, a lot of cards have fallen out for this ace of cups. I'm just going to read all of them because we got time, whatever. This speaks about somebody was all talk. Somebody probably said a lot of things and, you know, sold you a lot of dreams. It could have been some mind games. They could be watching you, too. You know, this is somebody who asks a lot of questions, plots and plans and and watches, you know. But they talk or they don't. <laughs> Sometimes they hold back that communication. Now, that's a Scorpio, right? And this is the Leo card. This is the strength card. Maybe they did something. Whatever this mind game was that they had going on. Because whoever this is, they're intelligent. This also could have been a delay. Something that delayed the process with you all. Has left you feeling a lack of control. over, Possibly over your emotions. You know, some sort of vicious cycle that this thing has taken you through. Perhaps it affected your self-esteem, making you feel like you're not worthy. A Leo? <laughs> Whoever made a, a, a Leo feel like they're not worthy must have been a Scorpio. Who was juggling. This card came out again. Somebody was... They had more than one ball in the air. They, 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 they did. And it was a breakup. Somebody got left out in the cold. It's, it's like maybe this there was a need to drop ego. Or perhaps... Leo, this is your card again. This is the sun. Your sign, your sign is represented by the sun, which is clarity, happiness, what y'all bring to the table. You know, that excitement. The sun gives life to everything. No sun, no life, no world. But in the reverse, this is, this is unhappiness. This is like a breakup. No spark. Something killed the spark. Something that somebody confessed. Hey. Somebody was lying. Somebody was, somebody was cheating. And either you found out about it or they told you. And now you're trying to come out of this feeling of feeling lonely and rejected. You know, Leo. <clears throat> oh, this instant is trying to choke me. Leos have a lot of pride. And that can be a good thing. It can be a little over the top sometimes. But to have you feeling lonely and rejected is a big deal. Because I know Leo's, honey. I done dated a few of y'all, right? But, okay, so let's clarify the six, of, the six of Cups, right? This person from the past. This person that makes you feel at home. This person that you're probably married to. You have a family with, right? Let's talk more about that. So perhaps you're about to, you're either married to this person or you guys have a family together. But something wasn't clear. Something wasn't made clear to you. Or it could have been like, because the moon card, this is also Pisces and Cancer energy. The moon card speaks of secrets, illusions. Something that's not clear. Something that wasn't quite adding up, right? And you and this person could also, it could also represent intuition, you know? And having a psychic connection with someone. But somewhere down the line, things became very imbalanced, right? There's a need to get, get back in touch with who you are and what you value. 
You're dealing with a, you're dealing with a Scorpio. One, two, three, four. Scorpio. You got Scorpio all over this reading. The Judgment card is another Scorpio card. The Judgment card in the reverse talks about indecisiveness. Okay. Patterns repeating themselves. You probably saw the signs. Or maybe you didn't. Maybe you didn't see the signs. This could be somebody that's coming back as well. Could be somebody that's coming back from the past since it's clarifying the Six of Cups, which talks about past energy. That familiarity. Somebody you were very familiar with. But the judgment. Let's look. Hold on. I'm, oh, I'm already at 20 minutes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Leo. I'm going to try to make this quick, but why not? It's the first love reading. I'm going to just give y'all the extra, whatever. So, the judgment card. Let's just make sure. Oh, fortune. Star judgment. Yeah. It's got a cut of whatever happened. Cause some imbalance. Whatever these secrets were, cause some imbalance, a lack of self-awareness and self-doubt. You know what I mean? This person had you feeling doubtful of yourself, right? Yeah, and th whatever th this was a lack of commitment. With this page of pentacles, like I said, it was a lack of commitment. Now you see it clearly. At first it had you at a crossroads, but now you see it clearly. And it's and it's caused a lot of sadness and pain. The Ace of Cups came out again in the reverse. Why is the Four of Wands here? So the Four of Wands is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. Leo, I feel like this is you, right? You know, like I said, the ro roles can be reversed. This could have been something you did to someone else. It could have been what they did to you. But whatever it is, it caused unhappiness in the home. And you are the home. Leo, the queen of pentacles, she cooks, she cleans, she works, she takes care of the kids. She keeps herself together. She gets her nails done. She does it all. And she'll keep doing it all as long as she feels secure. Because the pentacles is the money. The pentacles is the stability, all right? So as long as she feels secure, she'll keep doing it. And this is you. Huh. So why is this here? Also, the queen of pentacles represents a very stable wife, a stable mother as well. Maybe this was the counterpart, the king of wands, which normally represents the Leo, right? So whoever the female in the in the relationship is, whoever the feminine energy, there's no gender in tarot. Okay. Everybody's welcome here. Whoever the female energy was, she was very stable, very loving and nurturing. She took care of the family and, and, and the man was the protector. This male energy, this masculine energy, the king of wands, who is a fire, this is fire sign energy as well. I, I like to call this the Leo. Very attractive, very, this person takes action towards things. You know what I mean? I, actually, maybe this was you. I don't know. You take it how it goes, right? Somebody was providing the stability and handling everything. And somebody was providing the passion. That makes the home. But the king of wands, he can be loving. He can be a protector. He can be kind. He can be loyal. He can be all of that. But he likes a sense of freedom. Why is this here? Somebody ignored some red flags. You got the page of swords. Oh, God. The knight of swords. The knight of swords talks about some sort of quick movement. Speaking without thinking. Bold, reckless, hasty decisions in love. Taking shortcuts, disregard for advice. Okay, this is giving me the, the King of Wands. That 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 that. I would see that from him more than I would see that from the Queen of Pentacles. I could see that action, that kind of thing from the King of Wands. So I'm not trying to blame you, Leo, but or your person could be in the energy of the King of Wands, and you could be in the energy of the Queen of Pentacles, or vice versa. However you want to do it. However, it resonates. But somebody was moving very fast, okay? 
with some sort of somebody it's like some some kind of reckless behavior or reckless communication was coming forward because this is the communication card okay some kind of fast communication came in or some kind of something moved in very quickly wow how is my computer about to die already i'm sorry leo whatever this thing that happened in this home marriage family life situation whatever came in quickly the whatever this information was that came in this this thing that moved in very quickly is something that now you need to heal from right what else it's like or it made you lose hope in this thing because this is this is the sign of, this is the card of the aquarius this is the star card you know this is about being hopeful wishing upon a star but whatever this was whatever this shortcut somebody took this reckless behavior that somebody did Somebody lost hope in this situation, right? Why is the Three of Swords here? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Why is the Three of Swords here? Oh my goodness. You're dealing with a Scorpio. <laughs> You're dealing with a Scorpio, Leo. And, and it's like a lot of things that want to come out in this reading. It's a lot of things that want to come out in this reading. I'm just going to read it. Heartbreak, right? Whatever it was that happened that made you lose hope in this situation, this lack of commitment, this sadness, this crossroads that you came to, these secrets, this 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 wake-up call, caused a lot of heartbreak. This is Scorpio energy as well. The Five of Cups. And this, he's looking back at the things that he lost, at the cups that fell, right? But he's not looking back at what he still has. This is like regret, right? But in the reverse, it talks about not looking back anymore. Not looking back at those things anymore. There could have been some sort of manipulation. There could have been competition in this situation. This person was probably very romantic. They probably gave you a very romantic offer at some point. But they wanted to take things to the next level with you. But they had some devil energy going on. But it, but it looks like whatever... <clears throat> maybe they offered... <clears throat> Let me see. Somebody got involved in something outside of this relationship. And it looks like they're not involved in it anymore. Or they're getting over it. Whatever it was that came in between. Because the devil card talks about what binds two people together. What binds you to a situation. Some sort of addiction. Some sort of nefarious activity that was going on. Right? Codependency. But in the reverse, it talks about getting over that. So, maybe. Maybe. Let's see. But somebody was no longer to defend the situation that was making them feel a lack of confidence. That was making them feel like maybe we better off as friends. But somebody left you feeling, because this is fire energy too. This is giving me you. It's like now you're no longer ready to, you don't want to, like even though they, they whatever, whoever they love, <laughs> this is giving me, they offered their love to the devil. Okay. You ain't that devil, Leo. But this is you. Whatever it was had you feeling spiteful and jealous and ready to cut a bitch. Okay. But then you came to your senses, right? With the King of Swords. He makes a head over heart decision, right? And you're ready to get back out there and let go of the past. So here's that familiarity, that past card. At some point, it had you feeling like the victim with everything that went down in this, this relationship, you know, 
there was a reluctancy to move forward. But maybe you just want to get past that situation or past that person. Take it how it resonates. Why is the tower here? I'm already at 30 minutes, Lord have mercy. Yeah, because whatever it was, your intuition was right about it. Whatever this shakeup was with this Scorpio person, energy, whatever. Whatever it was, your intuition was right about it. You probably your spidey senses was probably going off anyway. Okay. Why else? What else is here? For the tower. Yeah, there was manipulation here. There was reckless behavior. And maybe you were waiting on things to change. You were waiting on waiting to feel better about this situation. You know? I have I have I have there was some sort of manipulation, but I also feel the need to tell you not to be cynical when it comes to love, right? Because the magician, they have everything. I feel like this was the person. This was the other person, whoever this Scorpio is that keeps popping up in your reading. And they were, they had everything, you know, and the magician in the upright, he has everything that he needs to manifest what he wants. But in the reverse, he uses them in the wrong way. So at one point there was manipulation, there was reckless behavior with the fool card because the fool normally he's ready to take a leap of faith towards something positive but here he's just moving recklessly right that's aries energy as well the three of wands maybe what were you waiting for maybe you were waiting to feel happy again because the three of wands talks about waiting for something like you've planted a few seeds and now you're awaiting for results. Like you haven't stopped working, but you're, you're, you, 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 you've made some progress with the Three of Wands. So maybe things are starting to slowly get better between you two. And you're just waiting to feel happy again, Leo. This thing is like, you don't want to move on from this. This is not something, because the, the Six of Swords talks about moving on from something very painful moving forward into calmer waters. But in the reverse, maybe you don't want to. Let's look. Let's look a little further into that card. Or it could have something to do with emotional, like unresolved issues. So this thing could feel very unresolved or resisting. Because this also talks about resisting transition. And in the beginning of the read, you had the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Which is staying in a bad relationship out of fear of being alone. I get it. Okay. You're holding on. What are you holding on to, though? Let's look at the Four of Pentacles. It talks about being possessive. But in love, past insecurities may be healing now. Allowing... You or your lover to be less jealous. No, 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 no. I'm reading wrong description. I'm so sorry. Your relationship may be clingy and suffocating. That's what the Four of Pentacles represents in terms of love, right? Relationships can be filled with jealousy and possessiveness. So whatever, the, whatever happened here, Leo, grudges, are not going to do anything for this relationship. Either you're going to stay or you're going to walk away. You're going to make it work or you're not. But holding on to any kind of resentment, I'm telling you, especially if, I don't know, resentment kills love. It kills it. There's nothing you can do with it. These things need to be resolved before you can truly move forward with this person or move forward with someone else to you, to your own happiness, right? Leo, if this is you who did this to somebody, shame on you. But whoever did this, if, if somebody did this to you, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry that you had to experience this. Um, but it looks, I don't feel like it's over. 
Because I feel like whatever it is, maybe it just, I don't know. I just don't feel like maybe it's over yet or you're resisting having this thing end. Because like I said, Scorpio cards that popped out, it talks about death, endings. But Scorpio energy also represents transformation. You know, sometimes the foundation of the thing has to be torn down in order for you to build it back up the right way. So maybe you didn't start out the right way. Who knows? But I'm going to pull some oracle cards for you guys from the Moonology Oracle Cards to give you some advice and some messages uh, that you can meditate on. And like I said, 2020 ain't over yet. We're going to be back with some more readings here at Nears That Tarot. And next time, let's see if some more positive things come out, right? But as long as you learned a lesson, Leo, it ain't negative. As long as you learn. So, what messages can I get to Leo in regards to love for the rest of... Oh, my music stopped. I'm sorry, y'all. For the rest of... Oh, I'm like 40 minutes. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean for this to be this long. <laughs> We're going to work it out. We're going to work it out. Okay. All right. So, let's see what we got here. The answers that you need are coming. You just got to be still. Get quiet for a while. Meditate. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. I told y'all dealing with a Scorpio. Work through your fears. Work through them. Even though you're feeling them, work through them. That's what that gives me. Hold your vision and your dreams need a practical plan. That's what that tower was about. So whatever vision you guys had when you got together, it can still happen. You know what I mean? No relationship is perfect. Okay? And I can't imagine people have been married for 50 years and ain't nothing ever happened. All right. But your dreams need a practical plan. So that was the tearing down of the foundation. So now you can build it up in a more honest and practical way. A way that will be lasting. A way that will give you longevity in your relationship. Right, Leo? So there's that. Thank you so much for joining me in this love reading. Please, if this reading resonated with you, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see y'all next time. Ciao.